People drink green tea to a large extent for health reasons. Contamination of Japan's foods, including tea, is a very serious problem that will last for generations in some areas, especially since TEPCO has not brought the meltdowns under control. I believe that an accurate and comprehensive monitoring program with third-party verification is the best way to restore confidence in Japanese products. I am going to test this Japanese matcha green tea powder because detectable levels of cesium were found in green tea in radiation tests by the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare of Japan in 2011. Since radiation can be a very tricky thing, radiation fallout literally falls from the sky, which can result in spotty radiation levels that are dependent upon weather conditions to move the radiation in the atmosphere. Also, since it is impossible to see, one way to detect the radiation is through radiation detectors. I believe I detected either radioactive iodine or cesium in this matcha green tea powder. Alright, that's when it's best sipped by. So maybe somehow with those numbers we could, someone could figure out when it was actually picked. Here's the matcha tea. It's actually a ground powder. And it's right up right above it. Now this is a shade grown tea from Tencha Leaf. And this is Japanese matcha powder ground from the finest Japanese Tencha leaves, is what it says on the can. Alright, today is... Today is October 5th, 2012. And this is the first background reading with the matcha green tea powder in the first test I've got 297 with a four count and 0 .50 for an average data point test two background on the matcha powder 324 for a count, four count high, point five zero point five four count. Now this background. You could definitely see the difference between this background and the tests on the matcha. Alright, this is test three background matcha tea powder 305. Three count high, 0.51 average count. And there's a very typical background reading. Right, you can see it's all down almost on the ground. Today is October 5th, 2012. I'm doing a reading on the matcha stone ground green tea powder. The first test I have is 511 total counts, 5 count high. The average is 0 .5, 0 0.85 counts. The 
there's the graph looks pretty busy definitely way above background so I'm pretty suspicious about this matcha powder test 2 five five one five count high on the ground matcha powder Test three on the matcha powder, five oh three, six count high, point eight four. That's the six count high there. here's the matcha tea here it's a powder it's supposed to be some premium green tea but I believe that there's some radiological isotopes in here just because it's 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 a little bit more than over background but here's the thing that makes this powder more dangerous is if you inhaled this powder I think it would be easier for for you to get the stuff into your into your sinuses and into your bloodstream so I'd be very careful with this powder and very fine What they usually do, I think, is soak this in water, which is worse if there is cesium in here, because cesium is is, is uh, easily absorbed. Matcha is now found in numerous health food products, ranging from cereals to energy bars. It in, it contains an antioxidant called EGCG, and it's it has 137 times greater the amount than commercially available green tea. It's supposed to boost metabolism and help reduce cholesterol levels when drank regularly. But the problem is, is all the the major health websites are pushing this. But I think everybody should think twice about drinking this Japanese green tea just because it may contain cesium. Now, it's either cesium-134 or 137. Much of the radio cesium becomes disseminated in aquatic environments, but large quantities remain in terrestrial ecosystems. From the extensive research on the environmental behavior of radio cesium in weapons and accidental fallout, a general consensus emerged that radio cesium exhibits a bio geochemical behavior rather similar to that of potassium. So cesium-137 reacts with water producing a water soluble compound cesium hydroxide and the biological behavior of cesium is similar to that of potassium and rubidium. After entering the body cesium gets more or less uniformly distributed throughout the body with higher concentrations in muscle tissue and lower in bones. As of July 2011 the Japanese government had not been able to control the spread of radioactive material into the nation's food. As a result, 
radioactive material had been detected in a range of produce, including tea leaves, up to 200 miles from the nuclear plant. As of February 2012, the Fukushima nuclear reactor was still leaking radiation, and areas surrounding it could remain uninhabitable for decades due to high radiation. Even today, October 5, 2012, there is no end to the leaking of the radioactive material, which means that it could be presently become fallout on present produce that is growing in the surrounding areas. That's why I would be a little weary with anything coming out of the country of Japan. The Japanese government regulations have changed a bit for teas as of April 1st, 2012. The previous Japanese guideline was set at a maximum of 500 becquerels a kilogram for the total concentrations of cesium-131 and cesium-134. The new regulations as of April 1st changed that concentration to 100 becquerels a kilogram. There has been some controversy around this new regulation because it also changes the way the radiation is tested. The previous regulations tested the dry tea leaf, whereas the new regulations test the brew from the tea leaf. Some argue that this regulation is more closely aligned with what the consumer will actually experience, and while the new regulations appear lower, they are the same. Others argue that the new lower regulations make the Japanese government appear as if they are becoming more strict when they are really changing the testing environment completely by changing from dry leaf to brew in order to lessen the strictness. Whatever way you cut it, the Japanese guidelines are still much stricter than the United States and European guidelines. For, for testing dry leaf, the United States guideline is 1,200 becquerels a kilogram, while the European Union guideline is 1,000 becquerels a kilogram, compared to the Japanese guideline, 500 becquerels a kilogram. Background Matcha Background Matcha Background Matcha Background Matcha My conclusion is the radiation alert inspector is picking up radiation beyond the background levels. That means that there may be either radioactive cesium or iodine in the matcha powder. Whether it's below the so-called safe standards, I can't tell. What I can say is I stopped drinking green tea for now.